If you like using vintage lenses and have a crop sensor mirrorless camera, you've probably looked into a piece of kit called a focal reducer or speed booster or telecompressor or whatever. In this video, we'll take a look at the one that I'm using. In my vintage lens journey, I started off with Nikon AIS generation lenses. I was using a Nikon DSLR, so these lenses mounted natively. After a while, I moved over to a Sony A6000 series camera body and had to adapt them. At first, I used a dumb adapter, but I wanted to reclaim some of the image that I was losing to sensor crop. So I looked around for a focal reducer. What's a focal reducer, you may ask? Short version. It takes the image from a full frame lens and squeezes it down to fit on a smaller sensor. In this case, APS-C. I do have another video that goes into a bit more detail on how these work and you can find it, you know, in, in the places that yeah, you put videos on YouTube. Metabone speed boosters seem to be the gold standard, but they're also pretty expensive. With generally positive reviews, I opted for the more budget-friendly Zhongyi Lens Turbo 2. More recently, I nabbed the M42 version to use with my growing screw mount lens collection. An interesting aspect of these adapters is that they disable the camera's locking mechanism and employ their own locking system. That's enough of that. Let's take a closer look at how these focal reducers perform. First off, here's a shot using a dumb adapter and the Helios 44-2. I'll eventually make a video about this lens. This is a shot from the same position with the lens turbo. The Helios is very well known for its swirly bokeh, and when used on a crop sensor, a lot of where that effect happens gets cut off. Here I move the camera back a bit to get a similar framing to the lens turbo shot. This shot is using my Nikon 24mm f2.8 with a dumb adapter. I'll eventually make a video about this lens. And here's how much of the field of view I regain with the lens turbo. This is taken with my Nikon 50mm f1.8 and a dumb adapter. I'll eventually make a video about this lens too. Here's the same shot with the lens turbo. I'm using my Tacomar 50mm f4 and I do have a video about that one. I'm very confident in how it performs, straight as an arrow and sharp as a tack. As you can see, the lens turbo doesn't seem to introduce any noticeable distortion. Unfortunately, I don't have a shot with a full frame body as a control, but here's the Takamar with the lens turbo. Corners look pretty good. As I said earlier, reviews of the lens turbo were generally quite positive. I'd read about the adapter potentially impacting sharpness, as well as adding blue flares into the image. But personally, I've never seen any evidence of these issues. One of the things I really like about using a focal reducer is that, well, I don't have to use it. Opting for a normal dumb adapter gives me a lot more flexibility. Now, in retrospect, I think it would have been best for me to get the Canon EF to Sony E mount version of this from the get-go. EF has a relatively short flange distance for an SLR mount, which means that it's easy to adapt to other SLR mounts. I could have bought just one focal reducer and adapted it to many different mounts. You live, you learn. Well, that's it for this week. Do all of the liking and subscribing and whatnot. I release new videos on Thursdays of my choosing. Regardless, I'll see you then.